What's up guys, it's James here. I'm at the park putting the final touches to the ramps. I've had 72 hours to redesign and revamp my local skate park. Say hello to Andy guys. Where are you Andy? There he is. He's been helping design. Hammed <laughs> <laughs> up <laughs> So he, he's been helping with the construction of the skate park. Big thank you to Spooky Lester from the Channel Us community who wants to see a kickflip. Uh, it's pretty hard to do it filming, so I'll give it a go. I uh, apologise if I mess it up. This week I've had John Cattle show me the ropes of skate park design. Check out his top tips. My name's John. I've been skateboarding for nearly 30 years. I've been involved with skate park design, probably for about 20 of that. So I've heard you're uh, interested in designing skate parks. I really want to get involved in uh, skate park design for a living. Yeah. So do you, you skate yourself? I do, yeah. I've been skating for five years now. That's really important. I think you need to be a skateboarder to build the best kind of park. So do you have any designs? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a ramp. That looks like a fun little obstacle. I think most people are going to be able to use that. So you've got skateboards, BMXs, scooters, scooters everyone can do something on that. Ladies too, yeah. I guess there's three things that you need to be aware of when you're uh, designing skate parks or obstacles. The first one is your audience. It has to be accessible for everyone. Yeah. Beginners upwards. There's no point in putting something there that it's, only the pros can use. It can be quite intimidating going to a park, see, and everyone skates this obstacle really well, and in fact, it's actually quite hard. Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, no, I get that. Number two, it's going to be cost. I mean, something like this looks small and cheap, I guess, but it's not. It depends what you make it out of. This looks like it's going to need a steel frame. Do you know roughly how much something like this would cost? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, it depends on the size. I mean, they're not cheap. 3,000, 4,000 plus. Okay, number three. Now, it depends on time scale as well. Yeah. If this is going to be a long term, I mean, I guess that comes more into cost as well, the longer it takes to build. Sometimes skate parks, they just need updating. Okay. I mean, it, you don't need to tear down a whole skate park. You can add okay. bits and bobs yeah. like this and just give it new life. I'd save a lot of money as well for council. Absolutely, so. so you don't have to build a whole new park. Yeah, just rearrange it. Right, James, I've got a challenge for you. You've got 72 hours to upgrade your local skate park, put a new obstacle in there, move the existing obstacles around and create a new park. Oh, sick, man. Oh, I'm stoked. You're welcome. Sound, thank you very much. Okay, James, that's not it though. You've got another 72 hours to organize a big skate jam, get the locals involved, get the community involved, and get some pros over to do some demonstrations over as well. Oh, sick, that'd be amazing. Like, <laughs> that's gonna be so fun. That'd be sick, man, let's do it. All right. Cool. <laughs>